The next major line item is shutter speed. I like to shoot mine at 60. Again, the shutter speed will control how much basically light the flash is going to put out. So I want to make sure it's always the same and always consistent. So on the Canon, this little control panel, you can see the 60. The way we change that is we just take this top dial and we move it. So again, digital and certainly digital dental photography is not so important to alter the shutter speed. If I was as I was filming birds or something where there was a lot of action, I may want a higher shutter speed in order to capture that movement. So we're going to set it at 60. Again, you saw how easy that was. We want to make sure that it's 60 before we actually take our photo. The next major line item is f-stop. Now f-stop can be confusing. It actually correlates how much light the lens is letting in or the aperture. How basically how much light will go through that lens. The higher the number, the more closed your lens is, the less amount of light. But the higher the number will also give you your great, greater depth of field. Now the advantage we have with macro photography with a ring flash and we're close to our subject is that we get a lot of light in that photo so we would like to have the highest f-stop possible. The way we change f-stop, f-stop is on the top on the Canon camera, this panel, is we just rotate this dial. Most of the cameras will have a maximum f-stop of 32. Some of them will be 29, most of them 32. So most all our dental photos we're going to take at an f-stop 32. Again, you can see how easy that was to change. So I want to look down make sure that's 32 before I go take my photo. Now with that f-stop, again when we're close up photography and we have a lot of light because this flash is bouncing off our subject, Again, we'd like an f-stop of 32. Where that's going to be changed is when we're taking, let's say, a product photo, maybe models, or maybe a full face where I'm now further from my object or my subject. So I need the lens to be more open to gather more light. And so we may change that f-stop. When I'm taking my full faces, I set my f-stop at 9. Now that might be different from one office or one operatory to the next based on how much ambient light. So that's something you may want to play with. Again, the nice thing about digital is you take your photo, you have an instant image versus the film days where you had to take 10 images and wait till they got back from the, um, the developer to see which image you like. So play with that a little bit. Most of my colleagues are using anywhere from 7 to about 11. Again, I shoot 9 with my particular office.